have Dr. Frank Puretti, the author and broadcaster and professor of sociology at the University of Kent. Nice to meet you and thank you for being here. Your studies on childhood and parenting are oriented towards exploring the obstacles that stand in the way of young people getting, gaining uh, independence in intellectually and socially. Can you tell more about it? Yeah, what I'm really concerned about is we've got a very, um, an extremely uh, sort of risk averse attitude towards children. We are always thinking that everything they do is dangerous. We uh, define every childhood experience with a health warning and as a result, we kind of limit their experiences. We very rarely allow them to gain independence by exploring the world on their own and working with other children without adults being around, which is very important because when children play with each other, they behave very differently than when an adult is watching them. And I think that as a result of that, children are becoming less able to make their own way, to know their strengths and their weaknesses, and to have a sense of adventure. And that has, I think, very long-term implications morally and intellectually. And um, can you tell us a few examples on how we can surpass life obstacles and achieve the greatness and have the potentials of becoming true heroes? Well, I think uh, you know, it's not always possible because sometimes we have what I call a bad day where everything you try doesn't work out, but on a, on a good day, um, I think the most important thing is to open up to new experiences and not to always find an excuse as to why you shouldn't do something. We all have this tendency to uh, hold back a bit. And instead of going for stuff, we say, well, tomorrow I'll do it. Today I'm going to have to you know, do my washing, or today I've got to make my bed. Whereas you know, tomorrow might never come. And the most important thing is to decide to both trust yourself, but even more importantly, you have to trust other people. If you trust other people, that gives us a sense of uh, community and belonging, it makes us stronger because if other people know you trust them, they open up to you and you create a, a kind of a bond which makes it easier to deal with challenges because you're not on your own. You're, you, know, you're, you know that somebody is watching your back. That's a, that I think is the precondition for being able to take chances and to uh, transform yourself in the process. At this stage of TEDx Limassol, uh, you said that we should worry not loving too much, which is worrying loving too little. Can you tell us more about it? I mean, what I meant was that there's a, a powerful uh, s impulse in society to tell us to go easy, don't get too close to people, you might get betrayed, somebody might stab you in the, in the back and leave you. So calculate before you make commitments to other people. and. Uh, what that does is it limits the uh, experience that we have of, of coming together. And, and the reason why I, I think that we have to have the opposite approach is that when you love somebody or, or falling in love with somebody or coming close, that other person becomes almost like a mirror to you. you know, that person understands you in a way that nobody else, and even you don't understand yourself. So you gain both a lot of self-knowledge about yourself and you help the other person gain an understanding of themselves. And in a good love relationship, the, the closer you get, the more it changes you. You know, afterwards, you're never the same. And even when, the, when your relationship fails, it can happen. You know, what has happened, that transformative experience is still there. It's the new you. And the more experiences like that we have, I think the, the more our vision of the world expand. So I think on balance, let's go for it. You know, sort of. Thank you, Dr. Fioretti, for being here with us. Yep.